Hello again, fellow gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. This one was requested I make a tutorial on Sarah Connor's class skill cards. So we're going to jump right into this one. Let's do this. Sarah Connor's ultimate is Heavy Hitter, which is all hits with ballistic weapons will knock back or briefly stun enemies. This ultimate can be useful when stunning regular enemies, and with constant fire, it can even briefly stun some mini bosses and main bosses as well, which can be pretty cool to see up close and personal firsthand. I'm also going to note that the weapons that are officially considered to be ballistic weapons are guns with real ammunition type bullets, like the Nasher, Overkill, as well as all the Lancers, Claw, Hammer Burst, etc, etc. Her passive ability is damage you take slowly recharges your ultimate, which is nice to have because being able to stun more enemies with her ultimate is always good. Now on to the choice of skill cards to choose to equip for Sarah Connor. Now this isn't that difficult to decide being that she only has 8 cards in total to choose from, but let's go into each skill card in more detail. Starting out with Tough Skin. Reduces melee damage by 30%. This is a nice card to have on, especially on lower horde difficulties. It allows you to be a little bit more of a melee damage tank, which is always nice, and it also complements her up close stopping power. Once you get up to higher difficulties though, you won't notice the skill card that much because you won't be getting super close to a lot of enemies, but having any kind of damage resistance is always a plus, right? <laughs> on to now stopping power. Stopping power increased by 200%. This is good to have on early into your run with a Nasher or Overkill equipped, but again, as your match progresses, you'll usually at some point switch over to heavy weapons, like the Salvo. However, once you switch off of ballistic weapons over to heavy weapons, it negates her stopping power as well as it negates her heavy hitter ultimate. But it comes in handy to have when hunting down those last couple of enemies at the end of each wave with shotguns, of course. <laughs> Going on to Grenade Capacity, carry 5 more grenades in your inventory. This is a great card of hers to have paired with the Modified Frag skill card, because it gives you the ability to carry a total of 7 grenades. Having the extra nades makes it very easy to be able to plant grenades in a spawn or outside your base most waves with either an ammo crate nearby or a grenade locker nearby to keep your grenades topped off. On to Modified Frags. Increases frag grenade damage and blast radius by 100%. Another awesome skill card to have on that goes hand in hand with her grenade capacity card. Now what makes this card so great is it does two things. First it does more grenade damage as well as it also extends the blast radius of your grenades. Yeah, sweetness. <laughs> Again, be sure to try to keep near an ammo crate or grenade locker during your run to take full advantage of Connor's awesome grenade cards throughout your match. On to heavy preparations. Ammo capacity for heavy weapons increased by 100%. When playing Sarah Connor in Horde for me, this is my favorite skill card of hers, and it can arguably be her best skill card overall to have on in Horde. At level 5, you get double the ammunition in your salvo, which that in turn gives you 40 salvo rounds, which is, yeah, amazing. It also doubles your buzzkill rounds to a total of 60. Double salvo and double buzzkill rounds? Um, who doesn't like some of that, right? The only downer though about this card is that the extra ammo capacity is only applied to the salvo and buzzkill. The other three heavy weapons, Trishot, Mulcher, and Cryo Cannon, sadly do not give Sarah Connor any extra ammo when she uses them. I'm not sure as to why TC has this card only work with two heavy weapons, but regardless, salvo for dinner and buzzkill for dessert? I'll take a play to that, thanks. On to her follow-up card. Heavy Hitter recharges by 8 seconds on successive shotgun hits. I actually prefer to not have her gold card equipped on in Horde because on higher difficulty runs, you aren't going to use a shotgun that often, nor get close enough to most enemies to effectively benefit a lot from the skill card regenerating her ultimate. And again, her ultimate only works on ballistic ammo, so once you've switched over to heavy weapons, her ultimate is not compatible with them, which in turn negates the benefits of using this gold card, so I'd rather have more melee damage resistance card on, or extra grenades and grenade damage cards, than to swap out one of those for her gold skill card. Onto epic score boost, 30% increased team score in Horde, and score boost, 15% increased team score in Horde. When it comes to score boost and epic score boost, if you're not going for a high score run, these two cards aren't going to do much for you. Now, onto some more fun with some actual gameplay footage of Sarah Connor. The two level 1 fortifications that Sarah Connor can purchase are the decoy and also the shock sentry, as well as she can purchase frag grenades from the fabricator. 
And here is just a clip of uh, the 40 salvo rounds in action, how fun it is to have 40 rounds. You can just hold down that trigger, spam it down, go to town, <laughs> and then load on the enemy, which is fun stuff. And then also here is the 60 buzzkill rounds that uh, you get as well, which is a lot of fun to have that many buzzkills. And here I just want to showcase uh, Sarah Connor's ultimate heavy hitter with a couple mini bosses and bosses. Uh, here we have the Warden, so you can see it's stunning it in place, um, which is kind of fun, I think, to watch because it's different. Um, here's the stump, and then we'll have a couple main bosses, this being the flock here. They're kind of helpless while they're getting stunned, which is kind of cool to see. Um, and then here it is with the carrier. But with that said, uh, this concludes the Sarah Connor class skill card tutorial. And as always, enjoy it, everybody. Thank you.